Why does this exist? What you are seeing here right now is the first teaser trailer for Vampire The Masquerade Battle Royale. Yeah, I kid you not. This game is coming in 2021, developed by Shark Mob, and this is like a 30 second teaser trailer where they're announcing it. It's published by Paradox, and it's a Vampire the Masquerade BR game. And don't get me wrong, I'm happy to see a new World of Darkness game because we didn't really get any World of Darkness games in the last like decade. So I'm actually kind of okay with new games. But this is just so bad. This is the worst idea you can have. And let me explain why. First things first, another BR game. Why? We have so many BR games and it has to be really exceptional and different, which I have trust issues with, that people will actually take a look at that. It's like you really have need something to have really, really good there today to get into the BR market. Like you have to. There are so many BRs out there, so many BRs which failed and even more BRs who actually became super successful that getting into that market is oh, nearly impossible at this point. So, okay, some people have confidence, cool. But Vampire the Masquerade? Like, don't get me wrong, Vampire the Masquerade, which is actually in the name, The Masquerade, is about vampires not trying to be seen, right? Like, the idea of breaking that masquerade is one of the worst things you can do in that world because, well, little humans don't look like the vamps. So, you're trying to stay hidden, and this game doesn't look like anybody tries to stay hidden at all. And this is just an outright war. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm not really sure about that. But, leaving that aside... I am, okay, Paradox, listen, you're the publisher of this. You are owning the license of the Dark World and, of course, Vampire. And I'm not sure if this is the right move. Like a lot of, yes, I know there have been other Vampire games out there as of late, but they were all like story-driven narratives, smaller games, and people were just like, okay, well, that's cool, that's nice, that's that's fine. But this is like a game which... I don't know where you have been in the last six months, but the Vampire Masquerade community, Bloodlines 2, has been suffering quite a bit. Like, narrative designer, narrative quest designer, like, ex executive producers and whatnot left basically the studio, and what we have seen so far from the game was kind of... Well, it, need, it needed a lot of more work. By the way, this looks actually pretty good graphic-wise, not gonna lie. Like, this looks this looks kind of cool. If uh, Vampire the Masquerade 2 would look like this, right? Like, I, I, don't, I don't talk about the gameplay, but I talk about animations and graphics, then that would already be nice. But even leaving that aside... Like, the vampire community is itching for a new RPG. And that has been in development limbo now for so long that people are getting a little bit unhappy about how you have handled the IP. So adding another BR game on top of it, which might even fail, because as I said, getting into the BR genre is actually kind of problematic. You are not doing yourself a favor here. Like, this is problematic at best. Like, you are setting yourself up for a lot of disappointment. Like, it's the worst thing which can just happen when this game is coming out, fails. A few months later, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is coming out. It's not what people hope for because, well, again, developer limbo, developer hell. And, like, you can damage the IP for a very long time because of that. Like, again, I, I don't... I just think, like, this is a bad idea. 
Like, I don't see a single good reason besides of, hey, there's money to be made in the BR world, which again is tough today because everybody has a BR at this point. And I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. Like, at this point, this is not a good show. And we will see how it plays out. I cannot see into, into the future. Nobody can. Maybe this is the game Vampire needed. Maybe Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 will be exceptional. And I, I'm here for it. I am here for that. But all the signs... Well, they are showing us into a different direction. So let's see how it plays out. And let's hope it will not become a massacre. Till then, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like it. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos like that, um, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.